Yo, what's up you guys? Out on the water again today on this beautiful morning. I think we're gonna do a little bit of trout spay today. We're gonna see if we can make that work. Swing some streamers, see if we can get some of these fish to eat. I do have a backup rod just in case that completely falls through so that we're not, you know, hiking down here a few miles and then not catching anything. But I'm hopeful, you know, that the streamers will work today. Tied up some new little sculpting patterns and I think the fish will be receptive to it, but uh, you know, we'll see. The water conditions are perfect for it. So yeah, we're gonna give it a try, see what we can find, take you guys along for the ride and uh, let's get into it, guys. Okay guys, I'm down to the first spot that I'm gonna fish. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about my setup. So I have an 11 foot three weight trout spay rod with the Scientific Angler's fully integrated Skagit line on there. And then I'm gonna be throwing a, a small sculpin pattern there on a five foot sink tip. And we'll see kind of how that works. I might add a second fly if I feel like I need to get deeper and kind of see you know, if that's necessary, depending on the run. But we'll just kind of see how this goes. Like I said, I brought the second rod just in case this is not working at all. And I forgot my net. So this could just be a video really uh, showing you guys how important nets are. So we'll see if I hook anything, if I can actually land it with no net. So I'm gonna swing this run and see what happens. Okay, first spot, like I said, I have like a little sink tip and then this little uh, sculpin pattern here that's weighted with some lead eyes. And I'm gonna see if I can get that to connect with any fish. So I'm gonna, st I'm gonna start pretty short with this fly and just see if there's any fish closer up and then I'll kind of just work my way down kind of as I go just to see, kind of hold that in a current there. It's kind of some weird currents. So I'm gonna try that same cast, but I'm gonna cast a little bit further upstream, get it to sink a little bit more. And then I'm gonna let it swing deeper through there. Oh, there was a grab, but I missed it. Darn, sometimes, so it seems like I need to get just a little bit deeper. So I'm actually gonna cast upstream. So they will eat it if it's down. There's a fish right there. Ah, oh. so I got a fish there and I missed him. He ate in a weird spot. Getting up an, a couple tugs at the very beginning, but now nothing. So I'm gonna switch over to my other rod real quick and hit this inside edge. See if I can find any fish on dry flies since it's early morning. Okay, there are some salmon flies around, so it's gonna work up this edge with a little chubby uh, before I nymph it. Just to, just to see. You never really know. Worth a try. At least that's my kind of motto. So far they are not willing to eat it. There's one. Oh, it's a good fish. Whew. Again, no net, so we'll see how this goes. Gosh, that's a big fish. I'm gonna take him downstream because I don't think I have a shot of landing him in the faster water. So I'm just gonna keep tension on him. Feeling pretty nervous about this, you guys because I have to wear him out. I have zero of landing him until he's worn out with no net. So I can't do anything with this fish. Even if I lift him, I think he would almost be ready if I had a net, but the issue is, is that I have no net. Try to swing him around in the soft stuff. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> you guys, this fish is a tank. Look at that thing. Don't run on me. Don't, don't, don't run on me. Okay, I gotta get him unhooked without hurting him because. Okay, the hook came out, there he goes. Didn't get a good release, but. Okay, that's a bummer. Um, I hooked that fish on a dry fly, it was huge. Hopefully you guys could see. I tried to hold it up for the camera, but. Alas, my camera wasn't recording like I thought it was. So I didn't get a real good shot of it, but you know, I'm kind of bummed about it, but let's see if we can get back in here. I'm put on some nymphs. I want to see if I can go back through this run and pick up any other fish. So let's give it a try. Okay, so I put on a, a silver beaded fly to go along with my uh, kind of flashier pink beaded fly. And I just want to see if, sometimes they don't want the flashier pink bead. And I just want to see 
see if maybe that's the case here. There's a fish, yeah, I thought maybe, I don't know what it ate, but it feels like a decent fish. Oh, that's a big dark fish. Oh, that's a good fish. I don't know what he ate. Let's see if we can get him anywhere close. Again, another good fish. No, he ate the he ate the pink bead. Interesting. I think I just I think it was I was just wasn't getting down. It's a super dark fish. He ate the the pink bead, but I added I had a three mil bead above that or a 2.5, and I uh, I added a a three. 0.5 so I went up a whole millimeter in bead size and I think I just wasn't getting down enough so let's see if we can get him not done yet not that long but really really fat heavy fish let's see if we can there he is super cool uh, dark fish on the oil slick Frenchie there it. You let him go. That's such a sweet fish. So fat. Okay, so I know I said that we were gonna do some trout spay today, but if it continues to be like this, where it's really good on dries and nymphs again, I might not use that spay rod a lot. And that fish was cool. He ate an oil slick Frenchie. I'll put a tying link to that fly in this video so you guys can check that out if you want. So I'm gonna jump back in there and see if I can get another one real quick. Okay, jump back in this spot. So I think that I think that changing the fly so that I had two heavier bugs in this deep water was kind of the key. Keep working up this bank here. Right behind this rock. There's a fish. <laughs> Woo, he's hot. Not as big of a fish, but still cool. He was right behind that rock there. So little guy, still cool. Little guy on the Frenchie, let him go. So he was sitting right behind that rock there. Keep working our way up. Spot on this edge, but it is pretty fast water. Woo! Gosh, that, oh, did you see? That was such a cool jump there. Let's see, he was right, woo, he was right in on that edge. He ate the oil slick Frenchie. Oh, he's gone. I put too much pressure on him and he's gone. Well, he ate the oil slick Frenchie. That's one of those things that if you don't have a net, I had to put pressure on him. I could have got him in the net already. Let's see if we can get another fish off this edge. There's a good fish. It's interesting how you can put some casts through there and get nothing. And then the next cast through, there's a fish. I think it probably has to do with the hydraulics in the water are just different in a lot of places. That's a pretty fish. Let's see if we can land him over here. Try to keep him in the water. Got it. Cool. And he's gone. Oil slick Frenchie. Okay, gonna find some new water. That spot was cool. Found a lot of fish there. Gonna keep hiking back up river towards the car. And I have a couple spots in mind, so we'll see if there's anybody there or not. And see if we can get a fish on the swing. That's kind of my goal now, because now, you know, we're catching them on the oil slick Frenchie, dry fly. But let's see if, uh, let's see if we can get one on the swing. Okay, you guys, so I'm in some good swing type water. I'm gonna throw a streamer through here and see if I can find any fish. So let's give it a try. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I got a chubby on there and a small nymph below that, size 16. And I'm gonna just dry drop back up through this water that I swung earlier. I feel like there should be some fish in here, but you never know. There's a fish. Ate the dropper. Cool. Feels decent. Just a little guy. 
eat the dropper. Oh, and he's gone. Whoops. That's okay. Okay, I found some new water here. Some people were just fishing this, so we'll see if it's any good. What I could be doing could be different than what they were doing. There we go. He came up and ate the dry, just a little guy, but still cool. I'm the old dry dropper. Well, awesome. Just a little guy. I uh, switched to two nymphs. I have on the oil slick Frenchie on point. And then uh, up above that, I have a little hot tag hare's ear. There's a fish just rose in front of me. So that's fun. And he's gone. Gosh, that was such a big fish. Did he break me? Yeah, he broke me off. Take my drag down. Okay, I gotta retie. Okay, that fish ate the oil slick Frenchie and then promptly broke me off. Let's see if we can find another fish. There's a good fish. Let's see if we can land this guy. I lost that other one. This one feels good too. Tire him out. Whew! That's a cool fish. Right there. We'll let him go. He ate that uh, oil slick Frenchie. Just keep covering the water. There's a fish. That fish is right behind that rock there. You can't see it, but there's a nice rock out there. No, nope, nope, back in. Some side pressure on him, we'll try to get him. Gosh, with that current. He is so strong with the current. Oh, that's a fat, healthy looking fish there. Super heavy. Yeah, let's head up lots of spots. Cool fish. You can tell. What a cool fish. He ate the hair's ear. Cool wild fish there. Okay, let him go. And then he's gone like a lightning bolt. Well, that was a fun day for sure. Let me know down in the comments, you guys, if there's any kind of content that you would like to see potentially from this channel. Like and subscribe if you possibly can. And I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Thanks. Catch fish.